Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, another Star Trek Discovery, the official Starships collection, model and magazine review from Eagle Moss Hero Collector. This one is number 33, and this is the last one in the series. If you're watching these in order that I'm actually recording them, then I've still got some more to catch up with. But this is the last one they actually did in the series. If you're watching the playlist, then yeah, you'll, you, it should be at the bottom somewhere, then the specials or whatever else. This is a Klingon Char class. Char class, I do know. Right, this is, it doesn't look too bad, but it looks like a very repetitive ship. That side looks exactly the same as that one. We've had these before anyway. I mean, at the end of the day, the Enterprise is a repetitive ship. It's just caught in a cell in the cell. The, the actual saucer section is just split it in half. You split the whole ship in half and it's just repeat on one side to the other. So, yeah, rant over. Okay, so we've got your usual stuff. This was bought on a, a recent, Oh yeah, a recent sale with Hero Collector. So that's fine. It looks a little bit scuffed on the box for some reason. I don't know why. So here we go. Take the model, model out of the way. Let's have a look at the magazine for a second. So we have this ship here. Ah, there we go. Not very much light at all in here, is the? Okay. Let's change that a lot. Klingon Char class. Hmm. Okay. 23rd century, this is part of the like I said, the Discovery. It was one, I think we saw this a couple of times actually. So let's go through the magazine before we have a really good look at the, the mag, uh, yeah, that, that's shocking. I've got bad reflections off of things. Never mind. unfortunately I have to just pal through this. Right, so this actually does, it, it, no, that, that can't split in two. It'd just be like two massive warp nacelles or two massive warp capable weapons possibly there is one thing i want to show you in a in a few moments when i actually get the model out is what i think this looks like and if anybody would like to put in the description of the time you can't even see the text on this it, the time that i've actually you thought what i think this looks like in the comments and what you think it is does look like before I actually do say it, then so be it. I might even add in a little snippet of video if I can. That looks interesting, if it can do that. Okay, moves around a bit. Or is that the idea of pushing it forward a lot? No, because there's no middle section anyway, so yes. Also available, the rest of the section, all the rest of the fleet. Yeah, it is fine. The Discovery Collection isn't bad this isn't the last of the discovery models they will come in the, the star trek universe collection is still continuing which is good we don't seem to be getting too quickly through them i think they're actually like always with eagle moss there's always little production issues and, and distribution issues which is yeah, it's why we it's why we love them so much so let's have a look here Still bought, not when this first came out, but it's still a first run, so there's still got plenty of stock. 2470A slash A. Klingon Karga Charg. Charg class now. Nah, yeah. It's fine. We find a few of these Klingon ships lately where it's been it's been the same oh, something nearly broke. Same on both sides. Something there felt like it almost broke off. But I don't mind this at all, to be honest. Let me get the box out of the way a little bit. And right, this is the center section, obviously. It looks like it could be, I don't know, small little ship inside with, with two ridiculously huge sized things. Impulse engines on the back, not really straight, but then they've got two other bigger ones on either one of these pods, which is fine. It's got a green accent in there for some reason. Quite interesting. Seems meant to be a black ship. Let's have a look down one of these pods. Let's go, yeah, let's go from top down, or bottom up, whichever. A bit of accenting like there. It's a hell of a lot of detail. This has been through the wars. This has been scraped. This has been scuffed. This has been whatevered. And right at the end, you've got this little tip of a of a whatever. Let's go to the other side, see if it's the same. I mean, there's some good panel marking on here. 
Um, no. So I, I'll I'll just show you something in a second. I've just noticed then. There's two little hooks on here, so you can hang your starship up when you're finished. Right. It kind of looks to me that this section here is is like the next section of a D7, and then it kind of goes to the a really weird squashed bridge. Cancel that bit out. It looks a bit more better, but um, yeah. That's fine. A lot of detail work on here. These parts here are definitely going to break off. But yeah, it looks like it's been thrown down properly in the wars. I mean, yeah, we saw this in, in a few episodes, I'm sure we did, of Discovery. Up to season two. Up to season three was in the future. Well, from our point of view, yeah, everything's in the future. But yeah, there we go. That's, that's a nice little interesting model. Now, did you figure out what I thought this is, right? Nope. Well, there's a, uh, I think it was 1980, maybe 1979 film called The Black Hole, Disney film, and the weapons on that... Do you see what I mean? It looks like a gun from the black hole. There's one with Vincent, the, the android, uh, Rod... Oh, Roddy McDowell? No, Roddy McDowell. Yeah. It was a, actually it wasn't too bad a film. It was a little bit... Yeah, it's not... It's a, it's a bit... Yeah, but it, I thought it was fine, to be honest. But it looks like the guns, that the, the robotic... Um, well, cyborg... Yeah... Guards are all using. So this is why I think this looks. Actually, I'm going to say this is kind of same on both all sides here. But you got this this nice little curved down section here. So there is possibly a top, and maybe the bottom, or maybe it's kids on there. I don't know. They're very interesting. I do like a lot of these. It's the design work of of. Ah, that's what I figured out what the noise were. These bits here are very, very tiny and they will break off. Look at me, these will go back in the box and they're protected for whenever. Until I get them out and play with them for no reason at all. Yeah. That looks like a very weak section. If, it's, if there's not much part there, maybe like a grill or something, a vent for, for cooling. But, yeah, but it could be easily shot because that's a very thinnish sort of part of the ship there. So, it's ever in battle, shall we say? So, yeah. I do quite like it. It looks like it's, it's all ship or it's all weapon. But it is still a gun from... And, and, and maybe a little bit smaller scale. I know it's kind of a little bit smaller. I mean, the scale on these ones are usually the size of hand width and length anyway. So it's not far off anyway. But, yeah, that's quite good, that. So you could use this in cosplay, if you're going to the Disney's. Black hole, yay! <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding. This will be on display, I'm sure. But with 33 models for the Discovery Collection done with, and, yeah, well, I'm looking forward to some of the newer stuff from Series 3. God knows what they're going to do for Series 4, if anything. So we'll see what happens when Series 4 of Discovery comes out later this year. I mean, Picard Series 2 is coming out next year. Lower Decks is on television as we speak, Series 2. Uh, it's a big time for, for Star Trek. A very big time for Star Trek. Because you've got the Strange New Worlds coming. And it, it's it's nice to see there's a lot of stuff coming out there. Even let's jump ship a little bit. Let's look to Star Wars. There, there's so much stuff for Star Wars coming out lately. It's really exciting time to be a sci-fi fan. And we've had dark periods and and or whatever periods where it's, it's just been absolutely nothing around, which has been a kind of a shame. But it is coming. 
and that's somebody at the door. With that in mind, I'm going to go and that's that done. Thank you for watching. Here we go. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Yeah, I'll figure the door out in a minute. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.